You tell me if you can understand what it even means. CAA Section 111D regulations shall establish procedures similar to that provided by Section 110, unquote. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. sort of ensconced at the very front there. Uh, I haven't had a chance to talk to her since she blew me off a minute ago. Opinion on uh, you know the, the rule change? Are you taking a look at it or anything? Well, I'm here because I want to know more about it. But I'm certainly I, I certainly think it's going in the right direction. Um, I think I think we knew we need to do what we can to move from fossil fuels to renewable sources of energy. I mean, it's going to be a gradual process, but we need to we need to keep at it. And you want the federal government to do more? Excuse me? You want the federal government to do more? Yes, I wish Congress would do more. Have, have, you, have you read any of this, this proposed rule change? Any of it or looked at it at all? I've read news reports about it. Okay. I have not read the regulation itself. I have actually got a copy of part of the thing here, and I'd like to play a recording for you if I might. Uh, you tell me if you can understand what it even means. All right, I'm going to slow it down a little bit so it's not too hard to understand. This general principle, especially when combined with the statutory directives in CAA Section 111D regulations, shall establish procedures similar to that provided by Section 110, unquote, supports an interpretation of Section CAA Section 111D. Yeah, it's a, string of references, it's a string of references to the federal regulations. Could and anyone it, ever understand this? Yes. You think you do? Yeah. Okay. Well, you're smarter than I am in that case. Well, I used to practice energy law. And if you're going to if you're going to do that sort of thing, you have to be, be familiar with the federal regulations. So those, that's no different than a tax lawyer studying the tax code. But could a person go through 400 pages of that and still understand it all at the end? Could any any person? Because that's 400 pages long. I don't I don't minimize the complexity of it or the technicality. But you're dealing with a very technical subject. Isn't it a simple subject, reducing carbon emissions? Excuse me? Isn't it supposed to be a simple subject of reducing carbon emissions? Our greenhouse footprint? If, if, if somebody has persuaded you that reducing carbon emissions is a simple subject, then they've been pulling the wool over your eyes. It's easily explained, though. It's a simple concept. It might not be simple in execution, not very many things are. But shouldn't it be simple to explain? How are you? Good to see you. I think I'm being interviewed here. Oh, sorry. That, no, that's okay. Oh, I'm honored that you would give me priority. <laughs> so. No, no, no. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go it's on. All right, take care. Oh, what's your name? Your state rep, right? What's your name? Howard Moffat. Okay, thanks, sir. Following her presentation, we will hear from Joe Fontaine of the New Hampshire Department of Environmental Services, Matt Tate Lane of the New Hampshire Department of Health and Human Services. Everyone else had a chance to speak tonight, so thank you. If you're not currently signed up to speak, 
it is not too late. You may sign up to speak at the registration table in the entry. Also note that in the entry, entry room, you can sign uh, just to be clear, simply agree. Of the EPA will not be recording comments tonight. We will have a video of all statements as well as written transcripts that we will submit to the EPA following tonight's hearing. Thank you again for being here tonight, and now Cynthia Green. Thank you, Betsy, for that introduction and for inviting me here to talk tonight. As you said, I'm not taking um, any comments uh, that will be put into the record. We are in a formal comment period, so the comments need to go in writing. So I've just passed out a little business card that has a QR code on it. Better time, Mr. Warner? Uh, I'll okay, I'll hold you to that the best I can. So, as you're seeing in this video playing out, is this classic paradigm of feds being totally unreachable, but state reps being willing to stop and answer your questions, at least in New Hampshire. Now we'll see if that could plays out for the whole day that EPA lady hasn't left yet. If she does, you know, if I get a chance to interview her a little bit uh, as she's leaving, then I may change my tune about how accessible they are. They, they, I can't call them inaccessible if they're accessible. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite too at sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to lrn.fm. Feds don't want you to hear them.